I'm Danny, and this is Candy. We're about to go get bats. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. I think she knows. She doesn't want a bat. So tell us a little bit about a Shiba Inu. <laughs> They're super furry. <laughs> super, super furry. And they've got a really, really, really thick undercoat. So what are like the personality traits of a Shiba? <laughs> Word. Oh, they're all so different. Really, you know, one of them, I guess you could say one of the main ones is they're pretty aloof. What do you, what do you hear most from people on the street? Oh, your dog looks like a fox. <laughs> All the time. And what were they, what are they bred for? Like, what are they made for? Aww. Well, I guess it depends on where you are. In Japan, they're known for hunting birds. They're technically Shiba translates to brush dog, I believe. Do you ever get asked if they're good dogs for children? Yeah. And families? Yeah. And... You know, I, while well, some people say it's not a good fit, I think that it's totally dependent on the dog. So are they well behaved? Can you train them? <laughs> yeah, you can actually, despite what everybody says, how they're untrainable. No, they totally are. How are they with other dogs? Not that great. <laughs> they tend to be very territorial. Shiba's are super loyal, super loyal. They sleep a lot. Oh yeah, they sleep a lot. Always taking naps, just like me. What's up with the curly tail on the butthole? <laughs> <laughs> that was the hardest thing to get used to, but I've gotten used to it. And Candy's is nice, is because Candy's got a lot of fur in there, so it kind of covers it up. <laughs> Shibas are just very naturally clean dogs. Their fur, they're just designed to repel dirt. Shiba's kind of notorious for being escape artists. <laughs> Candy is, yeah. You have to keep them on a leash. Is that the lesson? Yeah, I'd say so. So what are they like as puppies? Oh, so cute. Oh man, the cutest little things. And annoying, and so annoying, I should say. I mean, above all things, they're they're incredibly annoying, but so cute. Oh, so cute. Are they guard dogs? Oh yeah. Yes, they're great guard dogs. Good to travel with. Excellent to travel with. Well, yeah, for the most part. Sometimes in hotels, it can get a little challenging because. They'll bark, you know, if someone comes to the door. So any uh, health problems? The main one that you want to check for if you're contemplating getting a Shiba is that you have their hips checked out. Because Shibas do have a history of having poor hips. Um, that comes from, you know, way back when, when Shibas in Japan were nearly extinct because of all the water. Shaky Isn't shake. there something called the Shiba Shake? Shake, that was it. It's a Shiba Shake. Shiba Shake. And the Shiba Scream. Shiba Scream is real. That's a real thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the real thing. Oh, nothing louder. <laughs> the angel of death descending upon, upon a little school full of children with voice defects so they sound like aliens. I don't even know. It's the loudest thing you ever heard. Get a lot of attention. They do get a lot of attention, but that's not why I love them. I love them because I can connect to them. You know? Hmm. Because there's really a bond. And I think that's true of any dog. Uh, candy specifically. 
we've got to buy it.